guys, Stephanie Mitchell here. I'm an online marketing coach for beauty business owners. So whether you're a hairstylist, an esthetician, a makeup artist, a nail tech, a spray tanner, I would love to share with you some of my favorite marketing hacks to build your beauty business today. Specifically, I'm talking about 20 of the best free ways to grow your clientele, your revenue, and your sales through online marketing, which is like my favorite thing ever. And PS, if you want to read this as a guide with a little bit more detail, click below this video. There's a link to view it as a blog post and you can also download some resources there too. All right, without further ado, let's jump into my 20 marketing hacks. So marketing hack number one, this is assuming that you've already got some clientele, but I'm guessing you have a bunch of people who you haven't seen in a while. Maybe they haven't visited you in a year or even two years. Hopefully you have their email address somewhere because my first idea is to send a long time no see email to these clients. So typically you can go into your marketing software, your email software, your client software, and see a list of people who haven't visited in 12 months or longer. I want you to go ahead and send those people an email. So in this email, I want you to reintroduce yourself if they haven't heard from you a while. Um, share a picture of yourself, tell them what's new in your business, and then maybe even give them a special offer. So this could be something like a free product upgrade or a mini package of products. Or you know, if you're a hairstylist, it could be like a free protein or moisture treatment. Something a little bit extra to encourage them to book their appointments, make it limited time for the next month, and just re-welcome them back. And I know that you're going to see some appointments coming in from people who you haven't seen in a while. Okay, my second free marketing hack for you is to use Facebook groups. Facebook groups are exploding. They're not going away anytime soon. And I'm sure there are some great Facebook groups in your community. So for your town, um, for your city, for the neighborhood that you live in, go through Facebook, find these groups, ask to join them, and then just introduce yourself in the groups. So I don't want this to be like a promotional thing. It's more share a picture of yourself, share a picture of your salon, maybe share a picture of one of your recent clients that you're super proud of. Just tell people, hey, my name is Ashley. I'm a hairstylist. I wanted to introduce myself. I love talking about hair care or skincare um, or beauty. So if you have any questions, I would love to answer them and just wanted to introduce myself as a local business. Don't be salesy, introduce yourself, answer questions if people have them, be an active member of the group, and it can be an amazing free way to attract clients. Okay, my third idea for you is to create an intro video to yourself and use it everywhere. So this intro video only has to be like one or two minutes, but it's a great way of you getting on camera, saying hi, telling them a little bit about yourself as a beauty professional, maybe sharing a little bit about your business and use this video everywhere. So post it on Instagram. You can even make a reel out of it. Put it on YouTube, put it on your website, email it out to your clients. People love to see you as a beauty professional. So even just like a quick one minute video where you share three random facts about yourself can go a long way. All right, here's another idea for you blog. So uh, blogging is a big topic and I know you're thinking like, I have to keep on writing articles. I'm just talking about one specific blog article that can do really good things and help you get found on Google. Create a list of the top 10 beauty businesses in your city. So those could be specifically like green organic beauty businesses if you are in that category. That could be the best day spas, that could be the best hairstylists or lash artists, etc. I know it seems weird to be highlighting the competition, but remember collaboration over competition and Google will love this. So when you have a blog post highlighting some of the top businesses in your area, and of course you're gonna be at the top of that list, you are helping Google to understand what your business is about. And there's a lot of people who search on Google for things like best organic salons in my city. So this is a piece of information, a blog that can get found so much on Google and really boost your rankings. Next, let's talk about referrals. So hopefully you've been getting a bunch of clients coming in who have found you through referrals. Now, referral marketing is so important and there's tons of different ways that you can make this official, but I really do recommend that you set up a simple referral scheme in your business. So those clients that come in that are loyal to you, they're probably recommending you to their friends, but what if you reward them for recommending you? This can be a great way to encourage 
word of mouth advertising. So it could just be something as simple as having little business cards that you give to some of your best clients, put their name on it, put your name on it, um, and then just tell them like, hey, if you give this to your friends and they come in and they tell you that you were the one that referred me to them, uh, I'll reward you. So you can give them like a little product upgrade, you can give them like a mini sampler gift, just something that really says that you appreciate them. And remember, a new client can be worth thousands of dollars to you in your business, so be sure to reward accordingly. Okay, this is one of my favorite ideas, marketing hacks, is to run a contest in collaboration with some other local businesses in your area. So you can do an Instagram contest, for example, where you contact a few other businesses in your area. That could be like a yoga studio, a smoothie bar, a local uh, jewelry maker, for example, any sort of local businesses that have the same kind of clientele as you, contact them, even cold contact them, and ask if they want to do a contest collaboration with you. Each one of your businesses can contribute something small to like a gift bag or a gift basket for a giveaway prize. Each one of you will promote this on your Instagram page. You can ask for likes or comments or tagging friends in order to enter the contest. It can be a great way to increase collaboration with local businesses, to find new audiences and cross promote to other businesses, and also increase your reach and your engagement on Instagram. So I highly recommend it. Here's one marketing hack that is so easy to do, but barely any beauty businesses are doing it follow up with new clients after their appointment through email. So you can set this up automatically through your booking software, or you can just do it manually, set yourself a reminder. The day after a new client's appointment, send them an email to follow up and ask how the appointment went, get their feedback, and then send them a link to review you on Google. Having Google reviews is so important for getting found online through Google searches and you won't get those reviews unless you ask for them a lot of times. So send them a link, just tell them you'd really appreciate getting their feedback, you loved having them in, and if they would be able to leave you an honest recommendation on your Google page, which really helps to build your small business. Set this up and you will start seeing those reviews rolling in. Okay, speaking of email marketing, I've got a bunch of ideas in here specifically for email marketing. When you have new clients come into your business, put them into your database and specifically ask for their birthday. So each new client that comes in, you should be asking for their phone number, their email address, maybe their real address, put them into your client database or your booking software. And don't forget to ask for their birthday as well, because with a lot of different email software like MailChimp or different booking softwares, you can send out a special offer to them on their birthday month. They will so appreciate this. It shows that you care and that you're thinking of them. It's one more incentive to join your email list. And in this birthday email, first of all, wish them happy birthday. And then second of all, give them a special offer that's only valid for their birthday month. And it's one more reason for them to rebook with you. Okay, since we're talking about new clients that come in and getting their contact information, my other marketing hack is always ask new clients where they found you from. Do not take it for granted or assume where they found you. Ask them. You can either ask them casually during their appointments or when you're putting in their contact information at the end or at the beginning, ask them where they found you from. Tell you know, keep a record of what their referral is. If it's word of mouth, if it's Google, if it's Instagram, if it's advertising, this is so important because it helps you track which marketing tactics are working so you can double down on those. All right, let's move back to Google for a second. So this is one marketing hack that I use to have hundreds of people visit my website every single day, and it is doing just a little bit of SEO on your website, search engine optimization. Specifically, I want you to find your keywords and put them into your website. So your keywords are probably a mix of your city name, your town name, and what you do. So if you're a spray tanner in Las Vegas, your keywords would be Las Vegas spray tanner. Or if you're an organic hair salon in Toronto, it would be maybe Toronto's best organic hair salon. Take these keywords, put them into the title of your website, and also put them on your homepage somewhere strategically. Don't stuff them in there everywhere, but this really helps Google to figure out what your business is and helps you get ranked. Okay, so we talked before about using local Facebook groups to kind of promote what you do. 
What about the idea of creating your own free Facebook group? Now, this will not be a promotional group where all you do is share and promote and sell, etc. This is gonna be a group where you are talking about a topic that kind of aligns with your business and really just helps people get familiar with you as a person instead of just a service provider. So my friend Desiree, for example, one of my past clients, she actually has a group called Uncommon Beauty and she um, shares lots of motivational things. She helps people find their true inner beauty and that aligns with her goal and her whole business mantra as a skincare provider. So you could look at doing a free Facebook group and it really helps to create that connection with people that then will turn into clientele and sales. Here's one marketing hack that is perfect if you're thinking of launching something new, do a VIP launch to your best clients. So say you were thinking of introducing a new service or product, or you're thinking of doing something completely new, like a membership or like a, a monthly subscriber box to your product, something like that. When you're launching anything new, ask your VIP clients if they would like to test it out before anybody else. This makes them feel super appreciated. It's something special. Maybe you give them a little bit of a special price on it. Um, and you do that in exchange for their feedback, for photos, for videos, for testimonials, which then you can use in your big launch to the general public and to your clients' help. So having a list of like your VIP clients email addresses and phone numbers so that you can contact them about these things, it's a great way to test the waters, see how people are reacting to these new products and services, and like I said, get a bunch of great testimonials for them. And speaking of testimonials, having reviews from clients that love what you do and they put their review on Facebook or on Google or on Yelp is such an important part of marketing, but I don't want you to leave it there. So in this marketing hack, I want you to take some of your reviews, some of your best reviews from Google, Yelp, Facebook, etc., and put them on your website. You probably have so many people visiting your website every day, and one of the best, strongest ways to convince them to book with you, love you, trust you, is to include some reviews on your website. So you can put them on your homepage, you could have a different page on your website, just called like client love, just copy paste the reviews, put in a photo of your client, or just grab a screenshot of the review and put it in there. It will increase your social proof so much. All right, so back to email marketing. You guys know I love email marketing. I personally have an, a list of 18,000 plus email subscribers. And I bet that you do have some email subscribers, but probably all of them are clients, right? But what if you had a list of thousands of potential clients and their email addresses that you could communicate with regularly and promote to. So powerful. So one of the best ways to build an email list is to have a pop-up on your website. Something that pops up that says, hey, do you wanna be a member of my beauty club? Any new clients receive 10% off of their first appointments, or you could give them like a $10 voucher towards retail products. This is a great way to encourage people to join your email list and then you can nurture them, love up on them in their inbox and convert them to clients. All right, so here's another marketing hack for you that is going to help you build your business in the right direction is to send surveys to your clients. So whenever I'm confused in my business, whenever I feel like things aren't completely aligning, or maybe I'm launching something new and I wanna know what people think of it, or I just don't know how my clients are feeling, I send out a survey. I usually do it once or twice a year. I'll do it through SurveyMonkey or through Google Forms, and I'll just ask them like a few questions. So you could ask them their opinion about a new service that you're launching. You could ask them about what products they're using right now, about you know how they wanna be educated about hair or skincare or lashes. This can help you so much in your marketing and really create a business and contents in your business that really excites people. So once a year or even twice a year, send out a survey. Um, if you want, you can do an incentive. I usually do like a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway for one lucky person who fills it out. Okay, let's talk about a marketing hack for promoting retail products. You've probably maybe thought of this before, but you never actually did it. Create a gift box or a gift bag of products for an upcoming holiday or season. So for example, if you create a Mother's Day pampering gift box or um, a great basket of 
skincare or hair care products to do an at-home spa day or like a summertime hair care package. It's an amazing way to increase retail sales because people love buying boxes and kits and gift boxes, especially if they can gift them to someone else. So look at the calendar, look at some of the themes or holidays or seasons coming up and create a gift box around that. You can actually make it look really pretty, which yes, definitely looks matter. Go to the dollar store, get some like big, nice gift boxes, go on Amazon, buy some like crinkly paper, maybe even buy some other additional products that you could put in. So I love fair, F-A-I-R-E dot com as a way to find some additional like little mini retail products. Those could be like jade rollers or hair scrunchies or bath bombs, etc. Mix those up together with some of your top selling retail products that have a theme to them and this could be a big seller for you. All right, let's talk about social media because I love social media but I haven't talked about it that much yet. I love having shareable graphics. So a graphic that's like kind of an infographic where you teach something, you can make something like this on Canva for free and post it to Instagram. And I especially love if it has four things to it. So this could be like your four best skincare ingredients for summer skin. Or this could be four things that most people don't know about having blonde hair. Or even just four ways to take care of yourself that don't cost any money. So go to Canva, create a graphic like this, share this on Instagram. It is such a great way to educate without feeling like you have to create a ton of content. All right, let's talk about another marketing hack, specifically about your Google My Business page. So hopefully you already have one set up. You know, it's free, it helps people find you through Google. I want you to make sure that your photos on there are updated. And specifically, I want you to go in there and put some pictures of yourself in there. Because truly when people are looking at new beauty businesses, they don't just wanna know about your services, your products, all of that. They wanna know who this beauty professional is. So I would love if you could get some branding pictures done or even just like some beautiful selfies that you did. Put them in your Google My Business profile. Keep it fresh. Make sure that you are showing up there and it will increase the number of clients who want to try you out because they feel that trust with you. All right, so here's another marketing hack for you. Do an Instagram reel. I love Instagram reels. Do an Instagram reel where you are welcoming people into your salon. So this is like a 30 second video. Just make like five clips that are like five to eight seconds each and show them different parts of your salon. Then stitch them together with Instagram reels, put some music on it, put some captions and text. And it's a really great way to get people familiar with what your space looks like. A lot of your Instagram followers have probably never come in to see you and they don't actually know what your vibe is like. So make this Instagram real and it's probably gonna get you some great engagement because people love seeing behind the scenes of what your beauty studio, what your salon, what your space is. Okay, here's my final marketing hack for you. Number 20, do a photo shoot day with some of your retail products. So um, one of my friends recently said to me, in the beauty industry, you can survive on services, but you will retire on retail. And I love that phrase because retail products can be such a great way to build your revenue. So give those retail products some love and schedule a one to two hour photo shoot that you do of your retail products. So do some flat lay pictures, put like down a white bristle board, take some pictures of your products, maybe with some props, put in some colorful paper in there, just make them look really good, bring in some lights, take a little bit of time to do those retail picture products and you can use them in all your marketing on your social media you can put them in your emails you can put them on your online store if you have one i love the idea of really up leveling your brand with beautiful pictures of the products that you're selling all right so those are my 20 salon marketing hacks hopefully you love them i know i went through a ton of things so if you want to watch this video as a guide so if you actually want to like read it get some more details Click below this video, there's a ton of really great information and resources with marketing hacks that are going to help you build your beauty business. All right guys, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite marketing hack that you've used this year? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon.